previously on All the Queen's Men. This is a brief on a motion that I want you to file in Judge Ross's court. Alice, why she skipped town last night? Cass says there's a detective. I'm looking for Marilyn DeVille. Hi, madam. I need to ask you a couple of questions about your business partner, Alan Fisk. No. Oh. Not tell me they know I be sorry, they know I be sorry. Did Mr. Fisk say or do anything that was out of character the last time you saw him? Not that I could think of. He was himself. His wife says he's been missing for several days. The last time we spoke, he was pressed about an urgent business matter. You know if that was in out of town? Whatever it was, it was important. Mm. Okay. If there's anything that you can think, please give me a call. Will do. Thank you. I don't like this. Hit up, cat. See what she knows. It's that wife of his. We need to find him. Adam? Look, well, I'm gonna need you to calm down, okay? Okay. Get some cameras. Put them up around here, but very discreet. But something does not feel right. Mm -hmm. What you think it is? Someone's fucking with me. Seriously. The person was my father. Now this shit? I'm trying to remain calm. We need to figure out who the fuck it is. Soon. Hello guys, welcome back to another episode of All the Queen's Men. We're gonna watch and then we will dialogue at the end. You ready? You look amazing. Thank you. And well shit, how the fuck are you? You look like blue. Really? Yes. I got it. What? How's your love life? Oh, you ain't gonna leave me in the dark. I'm not leaving you in the dark, you just don't need to know because you are at a need-to-know basis. Oh, God. Tell me something I need to know. Oh, what's that? When we gonna get that money out of the club? Look, Blue. Not right now, okay? Adam, that shit is crazy. Blue. Can we go? Yeah. All right. I'm telling you right now, Blue, this fucking judge doesn't make it. sure my... Said I got it. I'm trusting you. You better have that shit. So look who's here all the time. And what am I here for again? You so important right now, baby. Like I'm talking about the judge. What if she locks me up? Don't worry, baby. She's not gonna do that. Hey. Hey, Miss Patty. Hey. Oh, why are you so dry with me this morning? I'm just tired. Shall we go in? Yes, please. We'd like to submit exhibit A4. He was left unattended and wandered off. That's not what happened. Mm. Ms. DeVille, I have to stand quietly until I ask questions. Thank you, Your Honor. And her nephew stating that he wandered off, left alone again. I was out. Out where? I went to the store for him. It, you know, she has somebody watching my house. Every time I leave my house and I come back home, somebody has come in there, opened my door. Ms. DeVille. What, man? Him! No, he was there. Your Honor, you see, she is a hot mess. I know, I know. I've heard enough. Ms. Marilyn DeVille is granted guardianship over her father. My father wants to stay with me. Your Honor, she runs a strip club. She does all kinds of illegal shit. Enough. And I'm on my side of the story. Look, get out. You know what? You're a bitch. Yeah, she know. is a bitch. Be that as it may, this is still my courtroom. You and your attorney in my chambers. All rise. You in this with them, Patty, aren't you? Yeah, I saw you in that club. Oh, yeah. She's in love with one of my dancers. It's actually the dancer that you have been blackmailing, Judge. Wait, what? Blackmailing? Yeah. She's been all in Babyface's face. Yeah, more than you, Patty. And you didn't need to do all the shit you did. You had a good case. You? Like, go the straight and narrow route? No. 
I like wreaking chaos. I need you to know this is a very small town. And you're gonna need me, honey. Are you threatening her? Little things can mean very big things. Great. Because I will always have you. I'm not an enemy you want to make, Marilyn. Now, Judge, calm down, okay? Because we have already established that you are, in fact, an enemy that I enjoy. Now, um, as you know, I have a club to run. But rest assured, you are always welcome. Always. Come on down. Get some dick. It'll be waiting. Get out. <laughs> Ooh. Girl, she mad. <laughs> Madam. Thank you, Miss Patty. Oh! Oh! Mm -mm, mm -mm. I got this blue. That's our day. The one you couldn't take care of. Oh, you putting them in a home? That's taking care of them. Oh, come on. They don't even know him in that damn home. You wanted a for a check. I'll get the fuck out my face. Bye. Yeah, I'm gonna get out your face before I spit in it. Bitch. You might wanna go. All right. What you doing? Get my fucking nerve. <laughs> you good? Oh, I'm great, baby. Let's go open up the club. Got your dancing shoes on? You already know. Not face. Can I talk to you for a minute? I didn't know she was blackmailing you. I I'm so sorry. I want to talk to you. Face, please. Baby, please, what do you mean? Oh, you really getting this bullshit up, huh? What are you talking about? Coming in here all times of the night. The roof say, Bill. Take my job. Are you calling this a job? Yes, you told me to get a job, right? It's not in no damn club. It's honest, man. If I find out you're drinking or doing drugs down there, you going back to jail. Yes, sir. Get your ass out of here and get over there then. I'm on my way, sir. What, you, you say something smart? No, sir, not at all. Get the fuck out of my face. Yo, Al, you want me to take you to work? I'm good, bro. Yeah. What the fuck you want? You find any money up there? Nah. Well, if he dancing, he go have some money. Well, I am at night a couple nights a week, and online to say it's the night. Huh. You know what? Let me know if you find out anything. I can't. What? We need to get it all, Bill. <laughs> what are you saying? Look, don't act like we ain't set a bunch of these niggas up again. Hey, dude. It's time for you to go. Nah, I can't make that kind of money out there. I can't send your ass back. And then you're gonna be my cellmate, nigga. We got that last dude to rob the store. Now he doing five to ten. Shut the fuck up talking so much. I'm just saying, man. What? Love you. Money in that parking lot. And set us straight. Is it that much? It is. And we can pin it on. <laughs> you need a little son of a bitch, huh? That's why they call me Ray. Oh, for the damn devil. I'll let you know what I come up with. It better be big. It is. Okay. All I had was one drink. Nigga, you trying to say we drugged you? No. You got your drink from the bar, right? Freedom gave it to me. Nigga, what? Yeah, freedom gave it to me. You competition. This business is cutthroat. You're going to be in this business. You're going to have to be smart. They probably drugged you. Right. If you say what to me one more time, I'm going to use this damn gun. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Don't be sorry. Just be careful. You really did that. Uh, all right, I'm gonna give you one more shot. If Madam finds out, you done. <laughs> Thank you so much. Don't get the fuck out my face. <laughs> Thank you, I really appreciate this. Yo, oh, look who's back. Yo, what the hell happened to you last night? Nigga, you drugged me. No, I didn't. Okay. What you mean? <sighs> Stay the fuck away from me. You got me. Damn. You don't gotta be like that. You heard me? Yes, sir. Fuck off. Now, ladies. Eden, give it up for the one and only tenderoni. Baby fat. I like it. Mm. 
Foster father might be messing with oh, Damn. If he is, you call call me and wait, okay? I'm on it. All right. Hey. Hey. Can I um come first, please? What's up? Maybe. All right. 
See you later. Bye. Hey, Blue, what's up? You ain't gonna believe this shit. What? You were dead on. Send me the address. Hey, Nat. Yeah, what's up? Quietly, okay? There will be other people in the house, and I do not want them to hear. She wanna come to the party. She wanna feel like you like. I got you wanna feel like you like. I got you baby to party. Thank you, Fuego. Yes, madam. Hey, thanks. Hey. Keep yours. Keep it. She but tell me twice. I appreciate you. My daddy means the world to me. I understand. Have a good night. Thank you. Wait for a second. I need to talk to you. I am um, starting to know where she is. Find her. Call somebody. I don't know. Figure it out. On the logo. I got it. See you tomorrow. Thank you. Find her. Gotcha. Yeah. <laughs> I told you. I see. Damn. Yo, and she let me keep it all. Yeah. Easy money. Yo, um. Thank you. For what? I was, you know, for letting me look in your eyes and everything like that. Look. If you and me are gonna be cool, you need to come with the real. Cut the bullshit. Yo, oh, I got a lot for. I'm telling you the truth. Huh? Okay, fine. Good night. You need a ride? Nah, I'm good. I'm gonna like to walk, so. Exactly the kind of motherfucker I can't stand. <laughs> what are you talking about? Shamika. Who oh, is Shamika? Please let me kill this motherfucker. No, no, Shamika's no. dick straight off. Foster child. I don't have a foster child. Then who was the 17 year old girl you were fucking tonight? That's my now? wife. And she's 26. What is going on? Okay, guys. As we can see now, Madam has gotten guardianship over her father. She may have made a big enemy out of the judge, honey. And what is going on with this young lady's husband who's supposed to be 17 years old, honey? And as we can see, her nephew is into her assistant. And honey, the assistant almost shot him down and went off on him when he told her that he was attracted to her and he focused on her mostly. Honey, but what is Madam going to do about this situation she has gotten into with this 17-year-old young lady? You guys, I really don't have much to say about this episode. So you guys, leave your comments in the comment section down below. And I'll see you in the next video and hopefully I have more to say there. Thanks for watching. Peace.